G'day everyone, Dicko here with another kick-ass walkthrough. This is just a quick little tip before we jump into the rigging of the spine that will help you transfer weights from one mesh to another without really having to worry about weight painting. Let's get into it. The main issue I have right now is when I manipulate, you know, parts of the body, um, certain other parts aren't really moving with it. So for instance, the, uh, the, the hips here aren't really being controlled all that well by the, um, by the spine rig. And I want it to because that's part of the hip structure. So we need to, you know, find a way of weight painting this thing really quickly without any real effort. And I think I have a method that will work. So what I want to do, I want to select everything that I've got here. So make sure that uh, you're working with the simplest geometry you have. So I've actually hidden away as much as I can in collection. So all the accessories, the hair patches, straps and all sort of stuff, they're all got their own collection at the moment and I've hidden them away. So if you're working with a mesh like this, where you have multiple objects, you know, that make up the bulk of your um, character, then this method will work for you. If you have a solid character, it's all one mesh, you don't have to worry too much about this. But for this circumstance, I want to sort of merge the whole thing together into one mesh and then use that as a weight painting base. All right, so I'm going to do the following. I'm going to select everything by type, mesh. And I'm going to duplicate that. Let's put it aside for now. I'm going to delete the hands because I don't need them right now. And then I'm going to join everything together and remove anything I have here. So I'm just going to remove the um, the multi-res in the, in the uh, basically remove everything. So remove the armature, remove the multi-res and remove the collision object. So I don't need them. This is basically a weight painting base. I'm going to save the file in case it crashes. And I'm going to go into edit mode and just push fill. Control F to fill. And it's filled it up really dirtily. We don't need to worry too much about that right now, <laughs> but because it's a real mess. But after that, I'm going to go to my remesh options here in the remesh settings here. I'm going to set it to 0 0.01 in this case, based on the scale of my object and voxel remesh that guy. And this will become sort of uh, the base in which we transfer our white paints to these objects here. Now check this out. Again, I'm going to save the file. I'm going to hide the geometry for a second. So I'm going to move this guy into its own into the uh, scene collection just to separate it from my geo folder. I'm going to reset the location, Alt G, and I'm just going to skin this guy to my armature. Automatic weights. All right. Now watch what happens now when I manipulate the spine. It's moving all together as one, which is kind of cool, right? So because it's all one solid mesh, it's sort of transferred more evenly across. So what we could do, we could actually use this guy as a base to transfer um, our weight paint. So oh, we've got to parent these guys. So we need to parent these guys to the, um, the to chest there. Um, so let's do that quickly. Go into edit mode. Keep offset, there we go. And that will move properly. Yep, cool. So what we can do is use this as um, a, transfer, a data transfer base for all of our official objects. So check this out. Let's bring back our Geo. And I'm going to go into say, let's just bring back, let's hide the Geo for a second. Just hide the Geo head. We're going to go into the um, modifier stack here and I'm gonna add a data transfer modifier. So what does that do? It actually transfers data essentially. Okay. So what we can do, we can go to, um, we're going to use the, uh, the, the fancy remeshed object as our data source for our weight paints. So we're going to transfer the weight paints from this head 001, you know, remeshed object to these objects here to get a cleaner sort of re uh, reme uh, a cleaner weight paint. So let's check that out. All right, let's grab the shirt, go to the data transfer, and we're going to make the source geo head 001, okay? So we're going to grab this. Let's just turn off the uh, multi-res for now. We're going to go to vertex data. 
we're going to say transfer the vertex groups. And we're going to use nearest vertex. And we are going to generate data layers and push OK. And what that does, it actually transfers the weight paints, uh, transfers the data from the vertex groups from the, um, the geo head 001 to um, our shirt here. All right. So all we're going to do now is apply that uh, onto the um, this object. But first, I'm going to transfer uh, this same multi uh, this same data transfer modifier to all these objects here. So using the copy attributes plugin. So if you go to the add-ons and look up copy attributes, this uh, plugin here, turn that on. I can transfer that data transfer modifier to everything here. So I'm going to select everything that I need, the shirt, the head, etc., and not including the uh, not including the rig, obviously. One, two, three, four, and finally the shirt, which has the data transfer. Push Control uh, C, and then you see the option to copy my selected modifiers. And I want to choose the data transfer. Push OK. And you'll see that they have it on everything now. So the data transfer is now on every uh, modifier, or every object. All right, so I want to put it above the armature modifier for this one. So make sure it's on top of the armature modifier for everything in, that, in the stacks. And basically push generate data layers for everything. Generate, 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 and generate. And then once you've done that, just push Control A while hovering over the data transfer node. On all those objects. And let's check out the result. Whoa, how about that? We've got some proper deformation now. <laughs> nice and easy. It's all transferred across because it's using the base of the um, that remeshed object that we had as our data points or our vertex weights. So now we have a nice clean um, manipulation of the body here. So super cool. So what's exactly happening under the hood when we do this? Well, let me demonstrate with the most simplest of things. I got myself the default cube and I have a circle here, so a round cube with a bunch of extra geometry. Okay. So on this default cube, I've added vertex groups. So I've just assigned one vertex for each of these groups. So let's check this out in weight paint mode. So what I've done, I've basically assigned a vertex group to each of these points in um, weight paint mode. If you check out the round cube, there's no vertex groups at all. Okay. But when we use the data transfer modifier, we actually are transferring the vertex groups from the round from the cube to the round cube. So let's check this out. I push uh, the source as our cube and go to vertex data and based on nearest vertex. So it's actually going to try and uh, assign a weight value to um, any vertex as, as close to this point as possible from the cube. So if we push vertex groups and then push generate data layers and go to the circle, it's transferred the same vertex groups to the sphere here. If we push, push apply to get rid of it, we've already done the, the job now and go into weight paint mode of the round cube and see what happens when we've selected the, uh, the verts. You can see it's actually assigned based on the proximity of that um, the points on the cube, a vertex weight value. Okay, so that's basically what's happening on a larger scale with um, the voxelized remeshed uh, Ragnar to our 
actual animation geometry. So in case you weren't sure what was going on there, that's what's happening with the uh, data transfer modifier. So now that we have that up and running, we can now work on the spine. But yeah, that's a quick and dirty way to transfer weights. It's a really effective method. And eventually we can actually use this for uh, more advanced stages of our um, weight painting um, journey, I guess you can say. So like, you know, eventually we can actually use the same methods for the accessories, the hair patches, the straps, the tunic, everything. But this is a really great and uh, simple way to transfer weights without you having to go in to actually go into weight paint mode, which is really effective. So let's move on to the spine uh, and I'll catch you in the next video.